As Joe Biden's lead increases in Pennsylvania, eyes are turning to Allegheny County, where tens of thousands of votes have yet to be counted. Today, the county swore in 80 members of a return board to take on the job at the voting processing warehouse on the north side. And that is where Andy Sheehan joins us live. Andy? Stacy, these return board members behind me have begun to process some 50,000 outstanding ballots that could not be processed until today. Bipartisan observers have been looking over their shoulders. They've been sworn in. Now comes the tough part. The members of the return board must painstakingly go through tens of thousands of ballots, each one individually, to determine if they can or can't be counted, all under the watchful eyes of bipartisan observers. The Trump campaign, the Biden campaign, they're watching everything done. There's cameras everywhere, so everything's being recorded. The first order of business is culling some 3,800 ballots, either damaged in the mail, improperly filled out, or lacking secrecy envelopes. Now, after 5 o'clock, they've begun to tackle some 29,000 ballots which needed to be reissued. Another slow, labor-intensive process. It may take really a couple of days to do that one. In addition, there are 883 of those controversial ballots postmarked before 8 p.m. Election Day, but received over the past two days. They'll be counted, but won't be included in vote totals pending any court challenges. And if that weren't enough, there are an estimated 17,000 provisional ballots contained in these voting district boxes. All told, more than 50,000 ballots to be processed. Republican observer Nicole Nino gave the process high marks for transparency. I think it's run very methodically. I think that it's very organized. Um, I've been impressed. Now, the first 30,000 of those ballots are expected to take several days. That pushes those 17,000 provisional ballots into next week. These workers who have already worked long days and nights are looking at working a few more. Reporting at the Allegheny County Voting Processing Warehouse, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.